In this video, I am going to show you how to create this very simple exposure transition into a fusion integrated DaVinci Resolve 15. So let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's take a new project and let's call it transition and click on create. Now let's do some basic setting so click on this setting button in the corner and I'm going with 1920 by 1080 resolution and 30 frame per second and click on save after that let's import our video clips so just go to your folder and import these clips uh, let me tell you guys I have downloaded this from pixabay.com and link given in the description so go to the link and download this footage if you want and drag this footage on this media pool and now if you want to change your project setting according to your video clips then click on change otherwise you have to click on this don't change alright now let's arrange this clip on this timeline so just select this first clip and drag it on this timeline and let's remove this audio by hitting back space button okay and now let's cut a small portion of this clip so I'm keep this five second so just select this blade tool and add a cut over here select this move tool and just delete this remaining clip and import your second video clip like that and I'm gonna keep this footage around five seconds long so it should be 10 second okay and I'm gonna add a cut over here so just select this blade tool and add a cut like that and select this move tool and delete remaining clip okay and now I want to add exposure transition between these two clips so go one second forward in time from this cut so right now we are on five seconds so it should be on six second okay and add a cut over here and go back to one second from this cut right now we are on five seconds so it should be on four second and add a cut over here now select this move tool and drag this clip over this timeline and let's fill this gap by dragging this clip like that and select these both video clips and let's convert it into a fusion clip so right click on these footage and click on this new fusion clip okay and then go to your fusion tab and close this spline window and click on this single viewer and let's set this like that all right so here we have footage one and footage two and this is our final merged node okay what we have to do now let's take a color corrector node so hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for CC for color corrector or you can also click on this color corrector button to add a color corrector node sorry just double click on this blank area and then click on this color corrector button all right now let's attach this color character with media one so hold shift on the keyboard and drag this and attach this color character like that okay and let's take one more color character node for this media two so just click on this color character and hold shift on the keyboard and let's attach it like that all right and now let's rename this color character one for media one so right click rename and rename it to m1 hit ok and select this one right click rename 
and rename it to m2 and hit ok now let's find out our video cut on this timeline so as you can see on frame number 30 here is our video cut so just go to frame number 30 and now select this m1 and go to this inspector tab and here is gain property so click on this diamond button to add a keyframe on gain property and set this gain value maybe around 5 and select this m2 for media 2 and here is gain property so click on this diamond button to add a keyframe on gain property and set this gain value maybe around 5 okay and then go to the end of this timeline and set this gain to default and make sure m2 is selected and select this m1 and go to very beginning of this timeline and set this gain to default okay so as you can see it's increases gain value and back to default all right now let's do some adjustment in a spline window so just click on this spline and check this m1 and m2 and click on this fit button and select this keyframe and hit s to smooth or click on this smooth button and set this cti in center and hold this handle and create a graph like that and hold this handle also and create a graph like that okay and hold control and I scroll up to zoom in and set this handle over here and set this handle also over here and click on this fit button again and as you can see I have created a very simple graph like that and it's done so close this spline window and let's play this all right so it's looking nice now go back to your timeline and enable this loop button and let's check this so as you can see we have very nice exposure transition now let's create a preset for this exposure transition so go to on fusion tab and let's arrange this clip so right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this to grid and let's arrange this like that okay and select this node m1 m2 and this merge one and right click on this and go to setting click on this save edge and let's call it exposure and click on save so i have already saved it click on yes all right now let's check this preset so let's import another footage so just drag this clip on this timeline like that and let's remove this audio by hitting backspace and let's take a small part of this clip so i'm taking five second from here so add a cut and just delete it all right and add a cut over here also select this move tool and delete this unwanted part so i'm gonna add exposure transition between these two clips so just go one second forward in time so right now we are on 10 second so it should be on 11 second so add a cut over here and go back 
to one second from this cut so right now we are on 10 seconds so it should be on 9 second and add a cut like that and select this move tool and drag this clip over this timeline and let's fill this gap by dragging this clip like that and select these both clip and let's convert it into a fusion clip so right click click on this new fusion clip and then go to your fusion tab and let's import our exposure transition preset so just go to your folder and here is exposure transition preset so just drag and drop to this flow window okay and just delete this merge one and deattach this connection and select these three node place it over here like that and let's connect this media one with this m1 and media two with this m2 and connect this output with this media out okay and it's ready so just go to your timeline and let's check this all right so it's ready now let's check this whole footage so as you can see it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye